and we have some amazing people with me who are allowed to now introduce themselves and then we'll quickly jump into what has brought us here, which is Tech Scale. So I'll start with you. Thank you, Ben. Uh, Vinod Goyal, CEO of Jumia Uganda. And I also welcome all the participants for the most sought after campaign, which is Tech Week. Thank you, Ben. Uh, my name is Maria Navalisa Kachumba. Head of Traffic Operations, Jimmy. Thank you. My name is Andrew Mbuizi, the Chief Commercial Officer at Jimmy, proud client of Jimmy as well. <laughs> Thank you. Sheila Kateva, I'm the Head of Logistics for Jimmy. Um, been a proud Jimmy customer for about 10 years. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Shakib Nusubuga. I'm the Head of uh, Expansion for Fine Sales. And I'm glad to be here. All right. So we'll start with you, Gino. Uh, first of all, I think this is the first space that you're doing while at Junior. So welcome. Thank you very much, everyone. Um, there have been a lot of changes that have happened in the business over the past few months. Uh, and I think people are very curious to know, you know what's, what's our new direction, what's the strategy that we have, and how does it all tie into the sale? Yeah, um, I think the, the changes which have been happening are directing us towards the same strategy. Mm -hmm. So I will, um, I will uh, repeat what is our strategy is. So our strategy is threefold. One is having a very strong partnership with our vendors to ensure that we have a consistent supply of the most relevant stuff most relevant assortment for our users. That's number one. Uh, number two strategy is to really expand up country, so to give the benefits of uh, Jumia, and not only to the people who stay in Kampala, but outside and every looking corner of the country. And number three is to operate in the most efficient and optimized manner, so that we can pass most of the benefits of the team to the consumers and still take Jumia towards the proper building. So that's the strategy, we stick to it. All the changes we make, it's actually steering our work towards the strategy. How, how does all this tie into TechSail? So uh, TechSail actually is a, is a very uh, important campaign uh, because if you see our mission statement, which says that Junior's mission is to transform people's life via tech. There is no other campaign which comes closer to it. So it's a, it's a perfect campaign uh, to, to achieve our mission. Okay, thanks for coming. I think I'll quickly jump to Andrew Stoyes, um, our Chief Commercial Officer. Uh, we not did mention about, you know, products that we have. So one thing that Jumia is definitely known about is the amazing things that we, we are able to, you know, deliver to the public. What can the people expect? Thank you, Bill. I think this is obviously one of the best companies we put together. We have amazing deals. Or electronics, appliances. I could just give you examples of things that make our everyday life easier and better. I mean, we start with phones. We have deals with smartphones, feature phones, and all the accessories that come with these phones. We have deals with kettles, blenders, washing machines, television sets of all sizes 32 inch, 53 inch, 50 inch, 55 inch, and I'm talking about different brands, such as Pixel, LG, Samsung, I could go on and on and on. So I think the consumer is going to be at pains to make a choice. But the good thing is you're going to be finding an assortment whose price is not comparable elsewhere. That's one thing. So, so is, are you guaranteeing the best price? Yes, we are guaranteeing the best prices for our customers and we will continue improving the pricing across the yeah, thank you. So, to Maria, how do they find those deals? Um, so, to be able to find the deals, you're going to have to download the Junior app uh, on your Play Store or Apple Store. And uh, if you cannot, if you do not have the app, you are able to go to the website. That's www.junior.ug. Um, and you can also call our call center and you can get support. 
uh, when you log on to any of those channels or access any of those channels, you're able to see the wide variety of deals that we have on the book. Okay. So, Shakim, you did mention expansion. Shakim, I mean, uh, Benoit also mentioned expansion. Yes. Uh, where is, first of all, what is expansion? But number two, where is this text here? Where is text here going to be? Uh, thank you for the question. So expansion is basically looking at uh, junior business um, around across the country and not just outside, not just within Kampala. We're looking at junior business outside of the, outside of uh, the city. Uh, what we, what this consists of is a network of uh, JFOS agents and pickup stations. So JFOS agents is an offline sales team that we have uh, that is able to help people that do not have good access to internet or do not have access to an app make sales and earn commission. And uh, pickup stations are places where, within the cities, people can go and pick up their products at their convenience and at a very low cost as well. So where is Texel taking place uh, this time around? Uh, Texel, the Texel is taking place across the country, uh, but we have uh, picked out two specific cities to do really, really good activations, which are uh, Gulu and Arua. So this time around, we're going to have a big presence in Gulu and Arua, we're already on radio, and we have so many exciting things ready for, for our residents and our customers within Gulu and Arua. But will people around the country be able to access People them? across Barara, Kasese, Fort Koto, name, name a city, Kabale, <laughs> Mbale, Jinja, Masaka, even within Kampala, Bukono, uh, we all have uh, pickup stations in the area. And we encourage uh, customers to take part in uh, this amazing trip. Thank you, Shakin. You're mentioning so many towns, and I think the big question is how do these things get there? How do the things that people buy get to them? So, Sheila, one, how ready is the logistics team? Number two, uh, what are the delivery timelines that people, if somebody buys it, for example, TV today, how long will it take? Okay. Thank you, Ben. So, first question How ready is the logistics team? We are very ready. We have the, our partners are ready, the trucks are ready, the riders are ready, the delivery agents are ready, our pickup station agents are ready all, our, all across the country. So, we are very ready to get them to you. Second question is uh, How long? So previously, if you were buying within Kampala and it's uh, Jumia Express, you would get it between one to two days. Um, that remains. Um, upcountry, if you were buying uh, Jumia Express or Dropship, you should you would be getting it within um, seven to nine days on average. We are dropping that in March to two days less. So during this March, our customers will be able to get this product two days earlier. So be ready to get your product much faster. That's amazing news. And one of the issues that I think we have seen over the over the years is the worry that you know Jumia does not have quality products, right? Mm -hmm. Does not have you know or the question of do you have a warrant does this product come from a warranty? Um, what assurances can you give for the consumer about what we have lined up with? Quick question then. First, let me go back to what you said. Our mission is to bring the supplier and the customer together through the platform. And by supplier, it could be manufacturers, brand owners, traders, anyone who has a product that we deem unique and relevant for our customer. We put them in a certain what we call a category, and then we enable the customer to access the product. Now, indeed, there has been feedback that maybe we have been focusing more on low-value products as opposed to high-tech products. We have been working so hard over the last 12 months to give your customer a wide range of products. If you go to the platform right now, we can almost guarantee that there is nothing you will find in other markets that is not available on June. So that's the first step. The second step is that we're also challenging the suppliers to bring quality products. And this way, we have introduced what we call insurance and guarantees i'll start with insurance so the customer has a choice whenever they buy the product on the platform to pick an insurance package meaning that if the product gets a problem they can always 
recourse on insurance and get a renewal. On the other side, the suppliers are also giving the customer a guarantee. So most of our products will have one year, two year, three year guarantees, meaning within that scope of time, the product is going to function almost perfectly. I mean, realistically, there's no product that you're going to have forever without it wearing off. But again, we want to give you the most there can be out there in terms of the time, the product lasts. And how, how do they find these products that have, or what what can they look out for on the site to tell them that you know this product has a warranty? So every product that comes with a warranty will have a badge top to the top right that will show you the one year, two year, three year warranty. We encourage our customers to look out for products from official shops, what we call shop shops. So if you're looking for an LG, for example, if you search LG in you know, a uh, search uh, tool, it will bring the official shop. So that product will most likely have the warranty. And start the official store. Absolutely. So we know, uh, Andrew has mentioned, you know, bringing the vendor and the consumer together. How are we delivering um, the most for our vendors for this company? Uh, yeah, I would start with a, a big thanks to a lot of vendors who are already making the most of it. Uh, and um, there are three more things vendors can do who are not yet making the most of it is, number one, uh, listing more of their products. Uh, Jumia has 550,000 users, active users on a monthly basis. There is no uh, real state, there is no screen on the continent where you have more eyeballs than Jumia screen. So I would request more and more vendors to list more products there. Number two, they can offer better deals. Who doesn't like deals, right? So uh, this is the best way to, to make their uh, make the most out of the, of the campaign. And third, um, um, the vendors can also uh, use Jumia advertising to boost their products. So I would suggest these three things to make the most out of the campaign. Coming back to you, Andrew. Um, how, how do you determine what products will list on the site? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Ben. So, again, to the mission. We talked about suppliers and customers. One of the things we consistently engage in is customer feedback. We have different channels through which we get feedback from the customer on the things they are looking for, internally for them user needs. But this is a way of customer saying, I want kettles, I want blenders, I want TV, I'm looking for a washing machine of this type of make brand. So through that, we're able to aggregate this information into one pool and say, okay, this is what our customer is looking for. Let's go out and look for the best deal on it and actually make it available for them. We use social media, we use uh, uh, direct uh, surveys to get this feedback, but we are actually, that's a key driver for us to make sure that we receive customer feedback as we are ready. Thank you. So every year, or at every major campaign, Jumia Union is famed for, there's a chicken, there's a cow, there's this iPhone, there's this big price that people have to hunt for. Maria, what do we, what should we expect this time? We definitely don't have a cow, <laughs> <laughs> but that doesn't mean we don't have more exciting things. So in store for our lovely consumer, this takes out. We have lots of exciting initiatives that we've put together. So we have the famous flash sales that uh, take place every single day. Uh, we have about four slots, that is 10 a.m. midday, 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. in the night for the next show up. And uh, we offer steeper discounts on the already existing offers that we're running under the tech sale. So look out for those. Uh, you've had Andrew mentioning partnerships with a lot of brands. So we have within the timeline of the campaign, um, brand day sales. So we have different partners like Blue Flame, uh, Sachi, Vivo. They've come together to organize brand day sales, which is a day where the brand offers even steeper discounts on the products that they offer uh, through the campaign. 
We also do have lots of games online. Uh, we have a wheel of fortune where you can spin and stand a chance to win a vulture that you can use to shop. We also have for the offline teams, uh, sorry, for offline, where um, for the areas that Shakib has mentioned. We are able to also run offline games uh, with a wheel where they can spin and get to win prizes that they can then uh, redeem. Okay. But how do they redeem this? It's good to be centered around that. So how do they redeem this? Okay. So it's pretty simple. For the games that you play online, you will automatically be sent a voucher that you can redeem when you do place an order. You just have to input the voucher code and then you will get to benefit from the discount or the offer. Um, and then also for offline, for the areas that are in Barara, Gulu, maybe, we've had Shakib also mentioning our different JPO schemes that are there to support. We are able to guide you through how you can play these games and how you can redeem the prizes. And in the event that you are the lucky winner, uh, maybe for a physical price, we are able to deliver this to any pickup station near you. And yeah, it's always. Thanks. We'll come back to Sheila. So, how are people going to be able to pay whatever it is they buy? What are the different payment methods they have? <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely. Cash is one of the ways that we can pay. Okay. However, um, one of the interesting things that are happening right now with the Jumia payments is that even when I request, I want to pay cash, when the delivery agent, and this is for door delivery, when the delivery agent gets to me, to my location, I can still pay using mobile money, that is Airtel or MTN, and as well pay with my Visa or MasterCard. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Absolutely. all you have to do is Absolutely. yes, it is. All you have to do is tell your delivery agent that I would like to pay with MasterCard or uh, mobile money, and they will send uh, a link directly from their phone. And it's very easy; it takes maximum two minutes, and then you can pay with electronic money on delivery, having chosen cash at checkout. The second method is obviously using the mobile money from the start. So when I'm checking out my item, I'll use mobile money or uh, Visa or MasterCard and pay in advance to making the order. So um, pick up station. Ah, pick up stations. Yes. Pick up stations, yes. So that covers door delivery. Okay. On pick up stations, you can also pay with cash okay. at the pickup station. Um, however, we are encouraging all our customers to use mobile money because mobile money is also available at the pickup station. So when you get to the pickup station, you will find a mobile pay number displayed and you just pay. The agent will be able to verify your payment immediately okay. and pick up your item. Okay. So, Shaki, um, I know. She has mentioned how you can pay, where and how do people receive these products. I'm sure there's someone who has never ordered on Junior, or there's someone who's out there who, you know, might only know what they're doing, mm -hmm. stuff is being brought to the house. How, tell us how, how do you guys pick or get the stuff done? So how people receive their products outside of Kampala, uh, the, the, the most preferred way of receiving products is through the pickup station. So you order online, or you order through your JPOS agent. The JPOS agent comes to place the order. Um, you get you get told uh, you get a, send a text message uh, to let you know uh, of the day you order your item will be available. The item will be delivered directly to the pickup station, and you're able to come when you reach the pickup station. How do you find your pickup station? The first easiest way to find your pickup station is uh, we have a list uh, on on the website. Uh, the second way to find your pickup station, if you go into Google and type in Jumia pickup station, you get a pickup station that is available at your, near, your nearest pickup station available to you. Uh, you can also call our um, customer service line and we'll be able to let you know which pickup station is available to you at your convenience. Uh, normally also when you're checking out, when you're, when you're ordering for yourself, you're not ordering via, with a, via an agent, 
uh, you'll get a list, a drop down list of which incantations are available to you, and you'll be able to uh, get uh, to, to you'll be able to choose which one is the most convenient. You will have different opening and closing times, which are communicated very uh, clearly, and those who have contact numbers way to contact the capstation attender to know the best time to complete the payment. How about if you're in Kampala? How do you receive? You've told us about our branch. Yes. What about? So in Kampala, um, you still you're still able to uh, use a pickup station because uh, most people actually find it convenient to receive items at their convenience. They don't need. Uh, then the second option is through door delivery. Uh, a delivery agent will pick up and will call you and make an appointment for when to deliver, when and where to deliver the item. Uh, the delivery agent will have at least two attempts to be able to deliver item to you, and after that, uh, they will come um, deliver to you and then make a payments through. All right, thank you, Shaki. We all know nothing is seamless, right? There are times, you know, people receive products, and these are questions, um, just quickly jumping into questions that are coming uh, in from online. There are people who, you know, you buy something and there's an issue. Maybe it doesn't have, you know, an abort or it doesn't, the remote doesn't work or something. Um, think, well, yeah. how, how, how can, how can, uh, how can customers, you know, address, how, how can they, where can they air this issue? What are the channels of the um, Very good question. So we have a number of channels available for support. I mentioned already that we have a, a call center. And the number, just to put it out there for those who may want it, it uh, you can call us on 0323-001-380. And, and a call center agent can quickly uh, get the details of the kind of support you need and be able to advise you on the steps you need to follow to be able to get the help you need. But also on the site uh, and on the app, we have guidelines um, for our return policy. So our return policy is very transparent. It's it's um, it's really easy. The steps are really easy. So if you find that you ordered something and it has an issue, and maybe you don't, you find that uh, there's something missing, uh, and the guidelines are there. Uh, it's it's you are able to initiate a return, and we are able to look through the details of your query or your issue, and we are able to one either. The, get the product back and get you the right product uh, or it, uh, initiate a refund in the case where we cannot resolve. Yeah, but we do have a return policy and uh, up to seven days and 15 days for products on warranty. Thank you, Maria. You know, back to you. You, and Andrew has promised you know, the highest quality, the warranty, insurance, how do we how do we ensure that if Sheila ordered for a TV, she is going to get the, the TV that she's going to get the TV that she ordered for if she orders for a t-shirt that whatever she saw is what she gets. What are the quality control measures that um, are Yeah, I think you're asking a, a very big question that we have to explain the whole machinery of e-commerce. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll try to keep it concise. Um, uh, how do we make sure uh, the customer gets what uh, the customer is ordering? Yeah. Uh, so the, the quality check happens way before that. Uh, now the quality check has already happened. The product is in the, is in the warehouse. And uh, there is a team which makes sure that the photos of the exact same picture are on the website. Uh, now what happens is uh, that the, photo, the, the item has a photo and it has a description and our consumers read the description, look at the photos, and based on that, they order. And we have the tech built in that moment a customer places an order for a particular item, mm -hmm. uh, the people in the warehouse, they get the order for that item. And then our tech enables them that they go to the exact location where that item is stored. They pick exactly the same item. Mm -hmm. Now a mistake can happen by the person. Uh, but the second stage, uh, there are the people who are going to pack this product now. 
So when they pack, they again check that they are packing the same product which the consumer has ordered. So considering that the technology identifies the right item and the right location, and then there are two, two human checks, this is the surety we, we give to the customer and they get exactly the same product. All right. If you're online and you've been watching us, you have any questions, please do tag us uh, either on Twitter or uh, on the YouTube uh, live stream and we'll be able to quickly answer your your questions. Um, quickly browse through. Let's see. Okay, here's one. So, I have paid, I received my products. I didn't get what I wanted. Um, how long does it take to process my product? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought it was a little bit so, <laughs> so, I mean, we, like she mentioned, we have a response policy that um, it's either seven days. Or 14 days within which you return. So, return policy. Okay. So, you must first return the product. Mm -hmm. um, at that point, we verify whether, I mean, as you may appreciate, by the time the product gets to the customer, a couple of things may go wrong. So, we need to understand whether it was maybe the channel was on our side, maybe on the other side, or the customer's side. And at that point, we find that it's on our side, we can engage you and say, okay, we'll process a refund. Or we give a substitute or a replacement. Yeah. Half the time, customers are happy to take the replacement because, in any case, the need has not gone away. What you want is the product that is functional. However, if you um, take the option of a refund, we have a team that is dedicated in making sure that the right customer is processing the refund and for the right product, and there is no going to be a situation where we are paying for things that have not been written. Mm -hmm. So that commitment averages 7 to 14 days. We are trying to improve it, but that is our commitment. I would just like to add uh, one more thing here. Um, we have an algorithm in our systems which predicts some customers and some items for which the refund is uh, immediate. So the moment you press the return button, those customers because of their behavior and the continuous frequency of buying and what kind of products they have bought, the report is uh, easy. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Maya, there's a new initiative or a new game that I believe you're launching today. Um, tell us more about it. Okay, uh, so I'm happy to announce that uh, we are going to run a new game called the Junior Tech Sound. Yeah. So we will have a couple of sounds that are pre-recorded. And these are sounds that we hear every day in our use of tech, you know, in the kitchen, um, as we hold our mobile phones, as we drive around. Um, you will have to listen to the sound, identify it, so we will have the sound, the link on our site, on our website and, and on our app. When you identify the sound, you take a guess, you can tell us what you think the sound is. So you can do this whether um, either on the website or on social media. So you just go to our page, Junior UG, at Junior UG, and you, you identify the sound. Now, once we, we say that you're right, or we pick you as the winner, of course, uh, we will be giving out a lot of prizes, ranging from microwaves to Bluetooth speakers and more exciting tech items that we have in store. Yeah. Alright. Um, do we have any questions coming in yet? Yes? No? Okay. Yeah. okay, sorry, so maybe as we wait oh. for a second. Uh, our first Jumia Tech Sound is live right now, uh, and we are currently looking forward to see who will be able to guess what the sound is. Just please get onto the platform and listen to the sound, 
and tell us what you think it is. So either get on the website, that's www.junior.ug, or download the app. It's available on Android or uh, iPhone, Apple Store. Correct. No, mm, it's okay. Yeah. Um, but is it open to everyone or just junior customers? So it's open to everyone and okay. countrywide. Okay. So anyone, wherever you are, you're able to play and take part in the game. Uh, if you do listen to it, you can still, like I said, choose to give us your answer on social media mm -hmm. or live on the site. We will still be able to get your answer and run it against the other answers that we have received. Okay, maybe to ask how long will the price take to get to the new yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That was the Sheila's department. <laughs> But for, for content, the prices are actually in some of the things. We're not talking about stuff that does not exist. The prices are actually available. They are viewed. There are microwaves. Um, I can see a smartphone. There's a tab right there. Um, there's a coffee machine. Those love coffee. Uh, there are blenders. So much. So, so much. Uh, so please visit the website. Uh, and follow the link and make your to make your attempt. I wanted to ask what uh, we're excited to buy for Jackson. You want, yeah, M myself, I'm like, I want to buy a fire. <laughs> yeah, but then now the weather is exactly such. Buy one, get buy one, get one. I want one for the bedroom one. Get one, get one. Yes. There's a buy one, get one in the offer from such. He had 100 and 30,000 and if I'm not wrong. Mm. I've actually tested it. I have, I did buy, buy a, a one last week. Works perfectly. It's not noisy, it's not funky. Very, very, very good quality. Um, for me, it's a 65 inch TV. Um, there's one from Sky at 1.9, I think. So that for me is, is the big item. You know, you need a big one. <laughs> but you know, yeah, Sheila, what, what is it? Is what you... uh, for me, it will be the accessory. Um, I need to upgrade my headset. I need some new Bluetooth speaker. So that's what I'm looking out for. Okay. So there's a Bluetooth speaker from a canon from Johnny D. Uh, it's going for 990,000. But is that, that's what the one is we are want to surprise customers with a new price. That's the yeah, current price. That's the current price. It's going to be a new it's price. price Absolutely yeah. on Friday. So look out for it. The second one is there's a smart light from Chint that changes color. Uh, so you can always, uh, you know, use your phone to change the color of the light in your bedroom. Mm -hmm. Look out for it. It's very exciting. Mm -hmm. What are you looking for? I'm looking forward to everything, really. I mean, the offers are crazy. The discounts are crazy. I think I would love to buy a new washing machine. So I've seen some very good offers on board. Yeah. Do you know the apart from the screen protector, what else do you need? For air conditioner. <laughs> yeah. for air conditioner, you can see the weather, right? So. You can see the difference. I want a fan. Your salary is up. Your levels, eh? Okay. So yeah, waiting for the for the good deals. Okay. Uh, this is a question I think for which I learned directed at you not. Um, Nurses revision uh, on Twitter asks, why should I have to pay double delivery fees of the same product coming with one delivery agent? Like buying more than one um, bowl bathing soap and paying for each for each soap uh, it's one delivery. Uh, okay, um, so the way delivery uh, fee works, and uh, and we are actually aggressively working on it. But currently, the way it works is that if you order an item, uh, you pay for only two times. But if you, let's say, you take an example, if you order an item, four of them, you will be paying the delivery fees only for the first two. And uh, any more than two are free for you. So also to uh, 
to make our customers understand a bit that on the cost side, we pay for every single item we ship. That is the cost we have to give to the transport, right? However, for our customers, after two items, we do not charge any uh, delivery fees for the small items. For a little bit bulkier items, they pay three to four items, and then after that, it is free of cost. So this is how it works. And we are actively taking feedback uh, based on the distances, based on the cities, and trying to improve our budget for fees. Okay. Um, so next question, I think, to Maria, because this is about games. Your tower games promise coupons, but they don't, I think this means they don't work. Um, it's a tough one. I'll show you hand right? um, But they, why? I think this question is to complete this, uh, but let's start with they don't work. Is there something that is wrong? What what could possibly be the problem? Okay, so in the event that you receive a coupon and it doesn't work, please kindly always reach out to the support teams. Once again, we are always happy to support and help. But uh, so these coupons do have an expiry date. From the time you win the coupon, uh, it usually gives you about seven days within which to use that coupon. So if you attempt to use it after those seven days, it will definitely not work. Yeah. So it has an expiry date. So that's for nurses. That's at least the other the whole nurses. Oh, yeah. so, um, you have seven days to use that voucher. When you win something on the games, you have seven days to redeem the voucher or it will expire. Any other questions? All good? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, not a question, oh. but uh, I just wanted to supplement and say that, uh, you know, as we're running the tech cell, we are still very aware of the changes in the weather and, uh, you know, the reality out there. So we still have more categories from which our consumers can enjoy to shop even during the tech sale. So we still have very good offers on our fashion, for example. Uh, and you know, if you're dying of heat or like shark feet, uh, we are happy to offer you sales on clothing that is light, um, sunscreen, or... That's an alternative. So the balance. <laughs> so what is the spent on tight trousers. Yeah, yeah you tight trousers, <laughs> you can buy shorts. Yeah. You know, sheds, sunscreen, name it. We have a lot of things that you can enjoy also. It's, it's good you raise that because now I'll come to Andrew. Tell us about the clearance sale. You have quite a lot of stuff that you have. You created something called the 5 k store. Tell us more about that. Um, so again, only to customer feedback. Um, we understand that Times change and vary, laugh on laugh. So we keep looking out for things that make sense to our customer. One of those is what you call internally clear and sell, but it's just an offering uh, to our customers to buy things at almost no margin to the organization, what we call costs on the street. So you find uh, deals of soda, deals on uh, milk, deals on sugar, everything, things we need in our homes on a daily basis things we need for our children, for our families, for our friends, groceries basically, items that we know that uh, will impact our lives every morning. So we tend to bring those deals out on a regular basis, on a weekly basis, end of month, start of month. So what I would encourage our customers to do is just keep on the lookout. And these deals are unannounced, but they are massive, they're big. If you go on the website, you find a Coca-Cola, maybe 300 mil, so they're going for maybe less than 500 shillings once in a while, mm -hmm. and chance favors those who are looking out for them. So for context, go to, if you are on the app or on the website, look out for the 5K store. That's one place you can definitely find some of the most amazing and ridiculous deals in the country. For Maria, who puts all these things together in one place, what how, how does somebody know, or rather, what assurance are you giving people that the stuff that we're putting on clearance are not things that are going to expire just now? Um, is there 
anything that they can you know, like when, when they click on the product that they can that can show them that you know this is not near expiry or something so um yes so like i said we are quite transparent with all our operations so even for these products that are on clearance, there is a clear badge uh, on each product that will give you details on the expiration date or expiration period for this, for this product. So I just encourage uh, everyone to trust that uh, the products are good. They are, they are QC'd, as we not mentioned. And once you get to click on the product, you're able to read all the details that uh, you have, that you need, and you may get uh, more answers to the questions that you may have. Okay. Yes. So, I don't know who wants to take this one. Uh, Ronald uh, asks, if I call, can I get the right item that I had wanted? And how will I know that in two days' time, I will get that item? Um, uh, the first question is, is very simple, yes. Uh, if you call, the call center will guide you for the best deals, but if you clearly know what you want, uh, that product will be shipped from there. Now, would you get it in two days? It depends where do you live. So we can't make any false promises. If you live in Kampala, uh, you will get the product in one to two days. If you live outside uh, Kampala, uh, you can see the delivery times depending on the distance from the city. So if you are in uh, uh, in uh, in, uh, in Barara, the item can get between four to six days. Uh, if you are in Fort Portal, add one more day. And again, we totally understand that these days are still very high. And that is why Sheila told in the previous remark that we are trying to reduce them. So from 1st of March, uh, these uh, days will be reduced by two. And hence, we are trying to be faster. Just while you while while we still have you, I know you have a tech background. So, since the rest of us just only know how to open the phone and just use the app, like mm -hmm. you. Um, why is it? Ronix asks, why is it that my app, my Jubia app, doesn't work on here? Uh, I think it would be an exception because normally the app should be working. Yeah. Um, definitely, like any other tech company, we have some downtimes uh, here and there. Uh, the, the scheduled maintain, uh, maintenance is, 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 uh, is really on the low times, so that should not be impacting uh, our consumers. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some very rare exceptional downtimes, which might be the case when you try to open your app. But apart from that, uh, it should not be the case. All right. Thank you. And thank you to everyone who has shared questions uh, online. We do appreciate you taking the time to join us for this mini launch. Shakim. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Just one thing is, um, to go to mention. Yeah. Uh, we have, uh, on top of uh, the different uh, things that Maria talked about that are going on, we also have a campaign for items that, are, that cost very little to deliver. Okay. In, in our new category of super seniors, we have a. Uh -huh. If you go on to the website, uh, there's 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 small, medium, large, but we have a new category of super small that uh, allows items to come to all the way to your city, even in Gulu, even in Lira, mm. for even in you know Nakapi, for up for up to three maximum of three thousand shillings. That's cheaper than putting it on a bus. Exactly. So and safer. and safer, exactly. So uh, we have so many phone accessories. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some fashion items. There's some small home appliances. All within the tech week as well. All at good prices. Yeah. But the point that I'm trying to emphasize is we are reducing shipping prices, uh, shipping fees, and we are starting with small items like the, uh, apart from grocery items, which mm -hmm. which are not part of this campaign. Yeah. Uh, but the rest of uh, the super small items, we can find them. On the, on the app uh, and on the website and and um, items and delivery for under 4k mm -hmm. under 4000 shillings so just something I wanted us to is, item. is it going to be permanent or it's just something we're doing during tech sale I think if we get uh, let's if the customers want it to be permanent then we shall keep them tell us yes. uh, we listen to our customers so let them tell us whether they want yeah, it to be they want it good we'll just remove it <laughs> <laughs> But again, thank you, thank you, Vinod, Maria, Andrew. Oh, one more question. Okay. 
Sí. Computer Joseph asks, are these items available on cash and delivery terms or prepaid or both? And Ronnie says, thank you, Mr. CEO. Um, so who would like to take this? This, I think, let me give it back to Sheila. Uh, are the items we have available on tech sale, um, are they going to be available for cash and delivery or prepaid or both? Both. Both. Simple answer is both. Okay. okay. So you can pay cash, you can pay, you can prepay, and don't forget, you can pay with mobile money and, or Visa or MasterCard and delivery. And delivery. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So thank you all once again. Thank you everyone once again. Uh, we hope you have learned a lot about uh, what the tech sale has uh, to offer, and a lot more about what Jumia does uh, as a business. If you do have any other questions, please feel free to, answer, to ask them to us, tag us on our social media, and our team will definitely answer them. Uh, we hope to see you guys buying and we hope to deliver something really amazing to you uh, during the month of March. So again, thank you and have a good afternoon.